What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Mark Show. It is time for another episode of Collection Corner. Happy 2024, people. That's right. Happy New Year. This is the first, really first full video of 2024. Crazy part is, this is uh, we've been doing YouTube videos now for five years. That's right. It's our five year anniversary. We started back in 2019, so it's pretty crazy that uh, we're able to get these videos out there to you guys. If you guys are entertained, like these videos and such like that for the last five years. So I'm pretty happy. And of course, my kids don't do it much anymore, but that's okay. My daughter does sometimes, so we're able to do all this. They kind of don't want to deal with it. So I get it. They got their own lives. Whatever. Anyway. But yes, five years in the game. New video for 2024. Talking about what I love. Masters Universe and Ninja Turtles collab, people, together. That's right. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you guys are interested in buying these action figures, I'll put in the link below. And as well as, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. And also, too, I will, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, now, I'm going to get back used to this. So, yes, people, that's right. This crazy collab of Turtles of Grayskull. Yes, this collab was announced last year toward uh, last quarter, last portion of 2024, that Mattel was gonna do a collab of Masters of the Universe and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And people thought like, okay, this is gonna be crazy to see, but now seeing the action figures like this, this is pretty awesome. You have wave one right here, and of course you have Mouse trap. So let's go ahead and get into the wave one. Uh, that got from Entertainment Earth. So I will put that there in the link description below. If you like to put this so first off, we have Man in Arms. He's pretty much. Um, it's not really muted. He just pretty much uh, has extra armor. Uh, pretty cool stuff. He has like the the actual more turtle shell. Uh, turtle, the turtle shells as his armor looks pretty cool. And so the uh, being that each one comes with a comic book, which is crazy, is that Heat Man is missing, and so now uh, Man at Arms is in one. That's pretty much kind of need to uh, bring everyone together to pretty much stop scale towards evil escapes. So it looks pretty sick as well. But of course, while Heat Man's missing, he actually is mutated. That's right, people. I guess Bill Tor was able to douse him with some ooze. So now he's a mutant key man, which to me, he actually looks pretty awesome as a mutant. I must say with green hair and the bangs and, and like just look of him, he looks pretty sick. Uh, he pretty much has uh, pretty much heavy artillery. Don't, he don't really have a sword. He has some kind of like this like battle axe and spice on his wristbands and such. He looks pretty crazy. But to me, he still looks good. He looks crazy. So, pretty cool stuff there. And of course, when it comes to the turtles, we got Donatello. Donatello pretty much has the purple armor, the with the shell look, and pretty, pretty much identical to Man at Arms in Donatello. So it makes sense that they both kind of have the same type of armor and, and you know, fighting gear and such. And his shell does come off. So he looks pretty cool in the um, purple armor. And of course, we got Leonardo here. He looks pretty cool in his blue armor. And he has two swords that he actually, uh, actually put together. But his armor to me actually looks sick. So I guess this would be the equivalent of He Man, even though it's Leo, uh, when it comes to the actual armor and such. But yeah, I think this, does this shell come off? No, I don't think his shells come off. He just has his swords to actually come attached or together. So it looks pretty sick. Then of course, last but not least, mouse trap. The mouse jaw. Mouse trap, mouse jaw, same difference. <laughs> trap jaw and a little uh, little mice from Bassett Stockman. So put the uh, merge together. It looks pretty awesome, but it's from Target. So uh, and then this also is a build figure. So you guys see here, when you do a close up, you see that they actually build a uh, metal bottle. But pretty awesome. The best part is on the back of each one, the artwork looks amazing. 
Like, look at these people, look at this artwork. And then, of course, if you are a Pastors of the Universe fan and you have Castle Gray School, hey, you could just put this as part of your collection when it comes to actual your uh, battle scenery with Castle Gray School and Snake Mountain. You know, it all works together. It's pretty cool. But yeah, the artwork in the back was pretty sick. Like I said, each one comes with a comic book. So yeah, so not too bad, people. Not too bad when the way these look and such. I'm pretty excited. When they first show me, like, this is weird, but now seeing them in person, like, yeah. These are pretty cool. I like them. So with that being said, let's go take a closer look at wave one of the Turtles of Great Skulls action figures. Well guys, what you think? What's on your favorite? Comment below, let me know your thoughts, and that's it for today's video. If you got this video, please thumbs up to see the screen right now. Don't forget to like and share video with people. So once again, Happy New Year. Our first full video of 2024, which is some awesome stuff. Uh, Mass Universe, Turtles collab. So, pretty good stuff. I got wave two coming, hopefully next week, from Dance in the Earth. Get that in, I'll show you guys way too. So it's out there. So if you fan of these two, um the story awesome uh of toy lines back in the day as I am, I'm like yes, this is a must-have. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this is a must-have. And this is today's video. In the words of baby Zoe, we'll see you next time. Peace.